It did. Uh, it, it's, not, it's not a right that everyone has their number retired. Uh, I understand that, that various other players that, that have had their number retired by the Red Sox, but uh, believe me, it's a, it's a tremendous privilege that, uh, that you can have your number retired by an organization and no one else will ever wear it again and you live in immortality up on the facade. I sort of feel like Tom Hanks, <laughs> that I've been on an island for 20 years right. and they found me. Right. So now I get to come home and enjoy the lobster and, <laughs> and I'm back in the Red Sox family uh, where I should have been in 1992 when Mr. Jockey offered the seven-year deal to uh, finish out my career with the Red Sox, and I wouldn't have had to go on anywhere else to play. So uh, this is, uh, I'm back. So uh, it's great to be back. Uh, my dad, my, when I got drafted at 17, my dad said, you got drafted by Boston in the seventh round. Fenway Park was built for you. And truer words were never spoken because I played the wall like a fiddle, and it, it was, I just needed to get a little bigger and stronger uh, because I did PEDs every day, uh, poultry every day. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I give Peter Gammons a little plug on that one, but uh, just a little bigger and stronger and, and uh, to where I could hit a long enough fly ball to left center and, and utilize the wall. And it, in my opinion, the greatest place to hit on, on the face of the earth that, uh, granted, when, while my father was alive, I would have loved for him to go to Fenway Park and see my number next to Ted. Because that was, that was I, I grew up idolizing Ted. That was my dad's favorite player, and we got along so well. Ted and my father got along so well. And it, it would have been very special for him. But on May 26th, my mom and dad have the best seat in the house. They'll be they'll be watching the ceremony and and we'll be thinking of you. <laughs>